Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome to the final episode of the Bugs Life action game. We're here, we are at the final level, the Canyon Showdown. It's us versus Hopper. Now, before we get started there, uh, you'll remember we only have... We have a whopping zero lives right now. And I don't trust myself with zero lives on the final level, so we are going to show off the game over for the game by going back to Riverbed Flight and dying super quickly, and I think that'll reset us with free lives. I think. If not, I will have to be grinding in the training yeah. area. Fly, Ada! Fly! Yeah. You little termite! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Come on, Hopper, I know you can do this oh. faster than that. There we go. Foul! And the best game over ever. Have you been playing all summer? You think this is a game? No, no, please. Well, guess what? You just lost. <laughs> how do you top that? Like, how? That's an actual scene from the movie. <laughs> and they put it in here and it was perfect. Like, no game can get a better game over than that. I'm sorry. Oh no. Does it boot us back? Oh, doggone it. It doesn't reset us with more lives. We're gonna have to grind. Well, we're gonna go to training a whole bunch, I guess. <laughs> See you guys later when I have grinded on some lives. Alright, after doing the training a few times, I spelled my name three times and thus learned the secret of immortality that way. If only it was that way in real life. Anyhow, it only took a few minutes. The training level is very short and very easy to get all of that, so I have three lives now. I didn't get full lives. I want to keep this last episode at least a little interesting and get a little suspense. Anyhow, let's do Canyon Showdown right now. Level 15, save the colony. Eliminate Hopper and save your colony. Ooh, Hopper looks ticked off now. Well, guess what, Hopper? You have been antagonizing me for the last several levels, and I'm gonna beat you up today, right now. Yeah! So, we're still in riverbed, the Riverbed Canyon area. Actually, the layout is very similar to the bird's nest, which is appropriate, and we get some... Very, very eerie music for the last level. Holy cow. Well, will you look at that? So we basically have to get Hopper close to the bird's nest on this level. So Hopper is the boss. And this level has nothing but grasshoppers on it. That's the only enemy type. And we start with the red berry as usual. So first being a first order of business is getting that super berry. We don't get the gold berry till the very, very end of the level. And we're actually going to need the super berry uh, before then. So that's kind of our first order of business is figuring out how to do that. And there are bones in the soil. That's disconcerting. This level's really intense, and also pretty darn tricky. This is a really challenging final level. And you're gonna want the abdomen bounce to extend your jumps on this level, for sure. Darn it. So basically how it works is, like, this level is comprised of multiple rooms, and Hopper will be waiting at the end of each room. And, as you can see, the pathway will be blocked. We need to defeat, uh, lower Hopper's HP enough this, so that he'll actually break through the twigs. And Hopper actually now has his own berries. Hopper has white berries that he throws at us, which is basically like our version of the super berry. Wait, whoops. I already looked at that. So this level is actually very open, despite it be, uh, seeming like it's pretty closed off. There's a lot to explore, and it's often tricky to know where to go first. This I can use. Like I said, we really want to get the super berry first, and again, extending your jumps with the bounces is actually like required on this level. So definitely do that. Ah, oh, shoot. 
fell off before I could get the blue token. This is another level, I believe, where you get the super jump. Very important. Thankfully, Hopper's not just trying to murder us for the entire stage and is chasing us. No, he's actually kind enough not to do that. And there is actually two Super Berry power-ups on this level. That is interesting. I'm not sure why. Holy cow, this is intense music. Oh, is this just this other Super Berry? Oh, it is. I thought it was a blue token. Well, you know what? It's not a waste, because we can jump from up here down onto that brown token down there. Maybe. Yes, cool. Propeller. This is another level where it's feasible to get the Grasshopper bonus stage. How many Super Berries are there on this level? Holy cow. might be a level where you have to set the seed on this branch and carry it up. I hope not, but I'm assuming yes. Because that's the kind of puzzle the game designers love throwing at you in this. I've only played this level like once in my life, so I don't remember it as well as some of the others. Alright, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to drop this here. Oh wait. I'm going to crack it open. And I'm going to take this for a long ride. Yeah. Alright, health plant. Sweet. I want to collect all the tokens in the first area before progressing, because normally I would just go to the end and get the gold berry as fast as possible, but we need a lot of seeds for that. Also, the pitch black background is very intimidating. Yeah, we're gonna get the L. Do ya? It's gonna be tricky. Come on, Hopper. I'm just one little ant. <laughs> Flick, it's way too late for excuses after all the crap you've put Hopper through. Like, holy cow. Granted, Hopper is a butt, but also, it's understandable why he's acting like this. Nah, not enough. Alright, maybe we come back here later? It's becoming... Not really sure what you're supposed to do with all this stuff. Oh, wow. Our all the grain, not all the grain, are all the flick letters in the first room? There's three rooms, I believe, so... Uh, I beg your pardon, I definitely jumped there. The great, this is a great atmosphere for the final level, and this actually is a pretty cool final level. I, I know I said the, the last three levels are really bad. I, I kind of forgot, this one actually is really cool. It's frustrating with all the difficult platforming you have to do, but it's the good kind of frustrating, I suppose. Let's see, I don't think I can jump that far. Darn it. This is a level where having safe states would be nice, because these platform jumps are really tricky to make.
Man, all that work for one piece of grain, that... <laughs> that rubs me the wrong way a little bit. Give me the F, and then we're moving on. Because there will be more seeds in the second room. I hope. Or more seed tokens. Hey, Hopper! Whoosh! Whoosh! So you can actually just pelt him with a bunch of super berries, and he really doesn't take damage. He only takes damage at scripted parts. Up here is the last room. And that's where the gold berry is. Well, look at that. I do love this last level. It's it's really well done. This I can use. It's kind of like the perfect level of challenge. It's challenging, but kind of for the right reasons. It's not there's not like any cheap gimmicks that is like this is unfair. Like no. Just picking up grain here. Flick, it's like, Flick, you're going to have the ultimate showdown with Hopper. Eh, just picking up grain here. That's Flick has his priorities straight. He's just worried about his next meal. This room, Hopper gets more pesky, because he actually flies around a larger portion of it, and you actually have to do platforming around where he is. Okay, the glitch where sometimes, like, it won't register your jump when you're near the edge of a platform is really annoying. It's always when you're near the edge of a platform, and oftentimes you need to be at the edge of a platform in order to make a particularly tricky jump. Just glad the raindrops don't damage you. Because you're an ant, it is entirely in, like, the game designers would be justified in being like, oh yeah, you're an ant, of course the rain's rain, gonna rain, hurt rain. You. Thank you for not being complete jerks, game designers. Okay, that's still too far. Can we spell flick already? No, we're missing the- oh yeah, of course. The L is in the first room. And we can't get it yet. Yeah, now Hopper flies up high and chucks berries at you when you're down below. So he can hit you, but you can't hit him unless you reach his height. Yeah, you you need you need a new taunt, Hopper. Just repeating the same one over and over again. It does isn't really working. Come on! Ah, I did not fall off the ledge. I pushed the jump button. I need like a hand cam so you can see when I'm doing it. Yeah, like, you have to get right up on the ledge for that one. Or actually, wait. Or I could just get the propeller platform over here. Yeah, that's a better idea. Bye -bye, buggy. Well, if I could find the propeller platform. It's around here somewhere. Interesting that Hopper still has some minions working for him, even after all this. They're very devoted to the cause. There we go. You are coming with me. Heck, we might even be able to use this to reach some places. 
that you're normally supposed to platform to, but can't. Blue token. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Pick an upgrade here. Just one little ant. I think there's still a piece of grain over by the stepping stone. Uh, stepping stone that I didn't get, so. It's just a lot of patience, honestly. Once you get super jump, it's a lot easier. If the super jump's even on the level, I technically don't know for sure if it is. But why else would you get blue tokens on this level? That's the entrance to the last room over there. Oh, come on! <laughs> I didn't even see that. Oh yeah! Ow. Oh yeah! You are mindless, soil-sucking loser. I've only got half the grain on the level. That's interesting. Hopper. I call oh man, Hopper you? just flies around everywhere on this level. <laughs> just one squish. <laughs> Who are you s t saying this to, Hopper? Like, no one's listening. He's just very adamant about this. Where did that propeller go? I suppose I could get the shield. Couldn't hurt, right? I mean, it is a power-up in the game for a reason. Come on, Hopper. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's going over here. Cool. Alright, so we've taken out two of his 5 HP, and now this is the final area. The branches are there in your way, just so you can't carry the seeds from one area to another. So now we get to climb up towards the bird's nest. That's where the end of the level is, but... We're not close to the end yet. We haven't gotten the gold berry yet. And that's kind of the main thing. so tasty. I want that. Not entirely sure how to get it, though. I think there's a seed around here that we can use. I hope so. Otherwise, it's going to take one heck of a precise jump to get down there. seed token, though, because I feel like there should be a dandelion and maybe even a cannon plant for this. Otherwise, getting that L is going to be very tricky. So I'm not sure if that would be give me enough height to reach the gold berry. Again, I don't think I can carry this seat up any higher, so... I'm gonna try... 
try this first, though. I'm gonna try using the propeller up here to blow me in. Booyah! Okay, I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume that there's no other seed up here. Oh, whoa, oh. Flick's pupils move on the life screen. Ugh, are you guys seeing that? I never noticed that before now. Oh, that's really creepy. Now, finding all of the grasshoppers to kill is actually kind of tricky because the whole level's a giant maze. You really have to search everywhere. Let's go back to the first area, because I bet I can get the L just using the dandelion and the propellers. Yep, 15 grasshopper cronies and then hopper. Those are the enemies for the level. This is a much, much better final boss level than the one in the Toy Story 2 action game. One of the few ways that Toy Story 2 as an action game is worse than A Bug's Life. Because honestly, that game was really high quality. This one is not. Like, it's fun. I had a lot of fun with it as a kid, which is why I'm like, yeah, I'll let's play that. But also, like, it's very frustrating at times, and oftentimes it's frustrating for the wrong reasons. Alright. So the L is all the way over here. How can I use this to my advantage? Because most of these seeds are embedded in the soil. And I can't move them. I think this first propeller is the only one that I can. So unless I can take a seed back from the second area to this area, I don't think I... I don't think I can do that. Oh, that was strange. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I need to find another strategy to get that. Alright, well, if I can bring a seed back from the second area, I might be able to use propellers to get past there, but I'm not holding my breath on that. So first off, I hope the propeller's nearby. I thought that they designed the level so you couldn't bring seeds back to different areas, but let's try it out. This reminds me a little bit of the Bowser Castle music on Paper Mario. Oh, never mind. You totally can. Alrighty. The L is up here, I think? Oh, well. That's gonna make it a little trickier now, isn't it? I do need to be able to blow the per- uh, I need to use this to blow the other seed up. High enough. Okay, I might be able to do this. This might require really precise drops a la uh, Riverbed Canyon, though. Once I get this, that's the hardest part of the level out of the way, getting the L. Alright. So I believe I can use this seed if I do a really, really precise drop onto this propeller plant. I think it'll blow the seed up high enough to reach this platform. It's just going to be really precise. Thank goodness the seats blow up just as high as I do. 
Oh, that wasn't as hard as I thought. This I can use. Excellent. I believe all the grasshoppers are dead in this first area, so let us proceed onwards. So there are five other regular grasshoppers, because I'm almost positive Hopper counts as a boss. I think the only boss that doesn't is a Hopper on Ant Hill Part 2. Which I'm not... Which the only reason for that is you literally can't permanently destroy him otherwise, because you don't get the gold berry on that level. You'd have to use mine plants, which won't work. I may have missed one in the second area, but I'm not sure, so I'll at least... I know there are quite a few in the last area I haven't hit yet, so... No super jump on this level, that's... strange. Actually, I'm not sure if the Goldberry deals any extra damage against Hopper. Oh yeah! Grain, grain, grain. Also, there's a lot. There better be a lot of grain in this last area. I mean, there is. I see a lot of it. This is it cool though? Because the Hopper like takes the fight everywhere. Don't spoil the surprise, Flick. You're chasing him towards. The bird's nest, you don't want to announce this to him. Don't be like, hey, Hopper, you're gonna get eaten by a bird in a few seconds. That's just stupid. He's like, I hate berries so much. Okay, we're approaching the end of the level now. Once, uh, at this point, if we kill Hopper up here, the level ends. Because we are near that bird nest. And the bird's just, like, the bird's just watching. He's like, ah, let's put on a good show, eh? I don't know why he's Canadian. Bug's Life takes place in Canada, confirmed. I'm sure that fan theory exists. Does now. Well, I missed a grasshopper somewhere. All right, did not miss the grain, but I missed a grasshopper. So let's double back. He's almost certainly in the second area. The grasshopper's just hiding, like, maybe he won't notice. It's not like he has a counter on the bottom of the screen where he can see which ones he's killed and which ones he hasn't. <laughs> the low draw distance makes it, uh, finding enemies quite a bit tougher than it should be. Normally I don't mind bad draw distance, though. It's, it just reminds me of the N64, and I love that system. Had some amazing games on it. Like a Bugs Life action game. There you go. Oh, yeah. Booyah. He's like, darn it, I was so close. All right, Hopper, your cronies are done for. And pretty soon you'll be done for. Whoop. The fact that there are bones in these canyon like walls is really dark and I never realized that as a kid that that's what they were. I was very young when I played this. I thought they were like arrows pointing where you need to go. I actually forgot how few seed tokens there are on this level. Like, there are not that many. 
get the propeller and the, a, a couple of the blue tokens, and that's it. Not even any green. Alright, we have spelled Flick, we have gotten all the grain, now we just gotta beat up Hopper. Because Hopper really, really hates berries. That's the moral of the story. Bugs hate berries. If you toss berries at them, they'll leave you alone. I do not recommend this in real life, though. <laughs> Results may vary in real life. Maybe, like, the gold berries are, like, Deadly Nightshade or something. Spray-painted with, like, <laughs> bleach that's dyed gold. I don't know. It's really deadly, though. Maybe the other berries are just, like, varying levels of tastiness, and, like, when you feed them, they'll just be like, okay, I'll leave you alone. And then when you get the gold berry, it just kills them. Hey, Hopper. Man, he has a lot of HP. Goodbye, Hopper. The bird's just hanging out in his nest. It's like just flying there. Like just just flying in place, no big deal, not sitting, has no eggs or anything. It's literally just like, yeah, I'm chilling. What, what you gonna do about it? <laughs> All right, that's 100% a Bugs Life action game. Never 100 percent it before. And we get a bonus movie clip for 100 percent in the last level. Okay. That is not the original audio for the movie at all. Oh, hey! We get another bonus movie clip for, I think, 100%ing the whole game. Cool. Yeah. What's it that worth a hundred percenting the game for, folks? Oh, wow, we get free movie scenes for this one. That is not how throwing grass works, but okay, I'll excuse it. <laughs> okay, so the, f the first of those clips was for 100% in the last level. The second of these is for 100% in every level. I think this one is either for just beating the game or getting all of the other movie clips. 
Wow, that's a long one. Wasn't that worth it? <laughs> Getting to see all of these <laughs> clips from a movie you could have seen for just a couple dollars for the DVD. Absolutely worth it. 100%. The end. Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even plan, plan on that pun. 100% worth it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. Congratulations, game complete. You get a still image of Flick hanging out just like, Hey, nobody else in history has done this. <laughs> oh, John Burton, you look a little cranky. He's like, do you know how many late nights I've had to stay up programming this game and designing it, and you're just ripping it apart? Seriously? Head artist? I was about to say, what artist? It was all just reused from the movie, but... No, the actual gameplay had to have art that wasn't in the movie. <laughs> oh, PC conversion! Oh, I thought this was made for the PC and then ported to other things, but no, I guess this was made for the consoles and then ported to PC. Well, the PC version is the highest quality version of this, because none of the other ones actually give you those great movie scenes. Like, the N64 version just gives you, like, still cutouts, like, and then Flick decided that he was gonna go to Riverbed Canyon. Uh-oh, he did, he made a bad, because now Riverbed Canyon is, like, a huge maze. Help him out of it. I mean, I feel like getting movie scenes is a little preferable to that. Uh, Ada, that is, that was very off-model Ada, holy cow. She, what's with that face? The face that she's making, she's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I swear we have seen that same still image of Flick used, like, five different times in this game. <laughs> now six! <laughs> How wonderful. Would I recommend buying this game? No. Would I recommend playing this game? Probably not. This game hasn't dated very well, but I had fun playing it. <laughs> the music is great. Check out the soundtrack. The soundtrack is really good for this game. Wow. They were like, yeah, we didn't want to make any more off-model art. Let's just have the same flick. Like, hi, hi, hi. Oh, and now we have this again. Is this right? Does that say, oh, 1996? It's, like, impossible to see that because part of it's cut off. It's terrible. Special thanks to these people. I don't know any of them. Disney character voices. One guy did a lot of them. Because they couldn't get Kevin Spacey to actually do his hopper lines again. Alright, that's the Bugs Life action game. I never thought I would go back and let's play this, and let alone 100% it. This is actually the first time I've 100 percent it and gotten all of the movie clips. It wasn't worth it. Thanks for watching, everyone, especially those of you who joined in for the entire Let's Play series. I don't know what I'm going to do as my next Let's Play. There are a couple of projects that I want to do, but I want the next one to be rather on the shorter side, just like maybe a couple of episodes. So I'll have to figure that out um, on my own. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless you wherever you are, and let's see if this crashes again. It doesn't. Um, oh wow. That's a lot of movie clips on the first one. Do, do. If you ever want to go back and, you know, watch some movie clips again... <laughs> that is a fantastic, just still image right there. <laughs> oh no! Man, these are way lower res than I remember. Holy cow. Like, wow. <laughs> like, wow. That is... That's really something there. This is the real question of, did I actually get them all? There should be no question marks anywhere. Haha! -ha! Yeah, got them all! I don't know why I feel so accomplished about that. Because it's really not worth it. Anyhow, thanks again, everyone. Have a great day, and God bless. Hope to see you for a future Let's Play.